The 9th edition codex is on pre-order and all the signs are looking like it's going to be absolutely great. Literally everything has changed and this means a fun learning curve for everyone. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in about 5 minutes. Technically at the time of this video both the Leviathan Supplement and the Crusher Stampede are still valid with the new codex. I'm just going to review the codex alone for this video. A couple of items of note. Everything is tougher where the more toughness wounds and better saves. Hive Tyrants and Warriors are great auto picks. Tyrant Guard now have Bodyguard for Hive Tyrants. Watch these sell out quickly. Hive Guard are no longer broken. Elixirs are good again, more saveable, minus one to hit, and you can't shoot them over 12 inches away. Ripper Swarms and Gene Stealers are no longer troops. And there are loads of build options, whether it's big monsters or swarms. Some army rules. You get one Hive Tyrant per detachment. Synapse is now a 6 inch aura for an auto pass of morale. Instinctive behavior has been removed. Shadow in the Warp is still a thing for minus one to cast but you get an extra morsel wound on perils. And Swarming Master's ability extends the engagement range for hordes, mainly giving them three rows of units when they fight rather than two. Synaptic Link Abilities Synapse units can give out a buff to a core unit within 12 inches. The 12 inch auras of multiple synapse units can be chained together to create an even bigger distance. For example, a Hive Tyrant can give out reroll hits of one. Synaptic Imperatives Additional buffs from synapse units there are specific ones for specific type of units. Once per battle for a unit and only once per turn, you can activate a selected buff and then all synapse units give out that benefit to any unit within 6 inches. An example is warriors can be activated and give out exploding 6s to hit. Depending how your synapse units are spread across the battlefield, this can essentially affect everything. Warlord traits, there are 6 in addition to the high fleet specific ones. Really good options are my two favourite are direct guidance, give plus 1 to hit to a core unit, and adaptive biology, 5 plus feel no pain. Relics, there are 12 in addition to the high fleet specific ones. Again, these are really good. My standout favourite is the shard gullet. Heavy venom cannon with assault 3, strength 12, minus 5 AP and 5 damage. That is a ridiculous weapon. Other good ones to choose include Scythes of Tyron, that's monstrous Scythe in Talons, now at strength 9, AP minus 4, D3, and plus 2 extra attacks, and the Passenger for Adrenal Glands models, plus 2 to advance and charge. Hive Mind Discipline, you get 6 psychic powers in addition to those from the High Fleet as well. Some classics are still there and seem to be the best. Catalyst for Warp Charge 6, 5 plus Feel No Pain, an Onslaught for Warp Charge 6, Advance and Charge, and Advance without penalties to shooting. Adaptive Physiology, every Tyranid player's most used ability. It's been changed to a points upgraded buff for monsters and can't be used on characters or titanic units. Also, you only get one per model and can't be used twice. This is a shame for the Hive Tyrant and Haridan as these won't be getting them now. To be honest, they aren't that special anymore. The classic Dermic Symbiosis for 25 points is a 4 plus invun. And probably the best of the reimagined list, Voracious Ammunition for 15 points. For each shooting phase, when you hit a unit, deal D3 Mortal Wounds in addition on a 2 plus. And Synaptic Enhancement for 10 points. The unit gains Synapse and Shadow in the Warp. The High Fleet options are great, and there are 7 named ones as before, and you can still custom build. Each gets a primary buff, then in game you can select an adaptive buff, which is a fantastic mechanism. You also get a Warlord trait, Relic, Psychic Power and Strat. And a couple of favourites and powerful ones, you have Kraken, the buff's minus 1 AP on the charge, the default adaptive buff is D3 plus 3 to advance, the Warlord trait is a CP farm on a 5 plus when the opponent uses a strat. The Relic gives the bearer a minus 1 to hit and no hit rerolls against him. Synaptic Lure for a warp charge 5. Reroll charges against a unit. And the strat opportunistic advance for 1 CP. The classic is now changed to advance 8 inches and you still get no penalty to shooting assault weapons. A super strong one you're likely to see lots is Leviathan. The buff is transhuman on synapse units and mini transhuman on anything else. So that's a wound of 1 and 2 auto fail. The adaptive buff is really useful to reroll 1 hit per attack. The Warlord trait once per turn allows you to reroll one of either hit, wound, charge, advance, psychic test, save, or damage. The Relic is a 6 inch aura to allow shooting units that arrive from reserve nearby. Psychic power hive next for warp charge 7. You can use an extra synaptic imperative. The Strat combined assault for 1 CP plus 1 to AP on melee weapons. Two of the other particularly good ones I'll show on the screen Behemoth for melee and Kronos is the shooty high fleet. I'll put the others on screen for people who want to pause and read. And the adaptive buffs for the high fleets are really good and there's loads of options to choose when you want to change them in game. Like plus one to charge roll, giving monsters obsec and the counters five models if they're over nine wounds, and allowing no overwatch. Stratagems. Single mind and annihilation for double shooting is gone. That also counts for why the hive guard are no longer broken. That said, there are a load of good options and I'm just going to highlight a few. You got the shard lure for one CP. If you shoot and hit a unit, you can then use 3d6 to charge and discard one. Overrun for one CP is still there. Move instead of consolidate. Imagine a flying hive tyrant doing this and then moving back behind its bodyguard unit. And circle the prey for one CP. Remove the unit and set it back up the next turn and a Corrosive Viscera for 2 CP. For Acid Blood units, they deal Mortal Wounds and a 4+, plus, 
when it loses wounds in the melee. Such a good codex, can't wait to keep reviewing it. We'll keep an eye out on the channel for more videos coming and see you again soon. Bye.